Hi teachers, in this last video of sharing Jamboards, we're gonna talk about link sharing with your Jamboards. Now, this can also be a great way on the fly to share a Jamboard with students, although I do believe that Google Classroom and Google Meet offer you a little bit of an easier way to do this quickly with students and be able to get them access immediately. That being said, understanding how links work and some different things you can do with links will be important to sharing out not only Jamboards, but all kinds of files within Google Drive. Now, I've clicked on share within my Jamboard, and I want to talk about the top versus the bottom section of sharing. So in the top, this is where I would share individual access with specific users or groups. You can see I have a test class teachers group here and they all have editing access. Let's say I want to change that to viewing access. I can change that here. I also have give temporary access that expires at a certain point. This can be great for times when you want users to be able to see things, but then eventually you want to take it away and you don't want to have to remember to go back in there and do that manually. So that's another great option for sharing. And then you also have the ability to remove them completely from this list. There currently is no commenter feature in Jamboard in terms of sharing. That may come someday. So you'll have to think about whether or not you want users to be able to manipulate everything in your Jamboard or you only want them to see your Jamboard. Now, when you start an activity with students or any type of users, you probably want to start with viewing access. Let them see it before users just start grabbing and using those tools immediately. We've all been in a situation where we're in a training or we're in a classroom and we put out a bunch of supplies prematurely in the center of the table and sometimes that's great that's exactly what we want to have happen and then other times we want to pull our hairs out because the supplies are everywhere and no one has heard any of the directions so again Think about what's best for you and your students because ultimately it is about their learning and their experience with Jamboard. Now, talking about the bottom part of our sharing, we have a couple of different options. If you are in a G Suite um, domain, you'll have the ability to share access with all of your domain, to change it to restricted, or to change to anyone with the link. Keep in mind that is anyone in the world. So. Proceed with caution before you give editing access to everyone in the world. I would suggest with the viewing access, unless if you know you need to do it quickly in a Google Meet, and then you're gonna change that access back afterwards. One thing I do wanna bring up about the link is sharing your jams with other teachers. Now, so many of us have awesome creations that we want to share with other teachers in our building, and we want them to be able to use it in their classroom, but we don't want them to modify our original. So two suggestions for sharing with teachers. The first is set your sharing link to whatever you think is appropriate. I'm going to do within my organization. I'm going to grab this link. And the reason why I am always going to share viewing access is because then that teacher can't change my original Jamboard. They have to make their own copy of the Jamboard. This means I don't have a bunch of other people's documents in my drive. The documents are going in their drive. So that can be beneficial. All I would do is copy this link paste it in an email, but we'll pretend that this is an email for a moment, and the teachers would go here. Once they get there, they'll need to make a copy themselves. So in order to make a copy of that jam, they would open up the viewing access, select the three dots, and click make a copy, and that would automatically be saved in their drive. Now there is another way, and I think perhaps a better way to share your Jamboards with teachers so they don't have to open it up, click the three dots, select make a copy, especially when they've probably already seen it because you shared it in a meeting or some other encounter. And that is, we're gonna modify the share link. So we are going to grab our share link down here. We're gonna set our sharing permissions to anyone in this group with the link can view. 
we're going to copy that link. And we're going to take and paste that link wherever we want it to go. And we're going to modify the end of the link. So we are going to get rid of everything up to that last backslash. Don't get rid of the backsplash. So it would be edit question USP equals sharing. We're going to hit backspace and we're going to change it to the word copy. When you share this link with someone else, let's watch what happens. It automatically takes them to the screen and says, hey, would you like to make a copy of this Jamboard? And all they have to do is click the make a copy button. I think this is perhaps the best way to share Jamboards and other Google files with teachers. It forces that copy to be made immediately so it doesn't get lost in all of the emails and shared with me files. It automatically goes to their drive and it's really easy for me to do and I don't have to give a ton of people all these different levels of access to my documents. So if you have any questions about sharing, don't hesitate to reach out. Keep in mind, always check back with those sharing permissions on Jamboard. I think it's likely in the future that Google will continue to add more features to Jamboard. So maybe there might be more sharing options in the future.